What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we are going to be reacting to Erling Haaland signing for Manchester City. Now I was going to go through all the social media stuff that Manchester City have posted, I've, it's, it's going to take me too much time. Um, so just going to make a comment on the social media post, the Instagram, the Twitter, the post that Haaland has put out and everything like that. Uh, and the graphics and everything, thumbs up, great, fantastic. But what we're going to do today is going to react into two videos that Manchester City have put on their YouTube channel. So the first is going to be the first video that they put out there that wasn't that YouTube shorts video with the announcement for Erling Haaland as I've already seen it. So it's going to be his first interview. So I've purposefully held back from this. I've not seen this video and I'm going to be giving my raw reactions for you guys and also going to be reacting to the Inside City uh, Holland part as well, uh, which I'm really looking forward to again. Not had a chance to see that, so I'm going to be giving my raw reactions to that for you guys. Now I am having some problems with the audio and everything for this video. I wanted to sort it as a live stream. That audio problem means can't do this as a live stream. I can do this as a video. We'll see how it turns out and how I edit it and hopefully, fingers crossed, will be good to go but make sure if you are enjoying the content please do subscribe as you may have noticed we have passed 25,000 subscribers here on the JSGC channel it means the next big big milestone that we've got is 50,000 subscribers and we're halfway there we're a quarter of the way to my overall goal which is 100,000 subscribers I put out a tweet many years ago saying I will jump out of a plane pack my parachute and out I go to celebrate hitting 100k we're a quarter of the way there, so I will be doing that if, when we do hit 100,000 subscribers. So any help towards that will be much appreciated. Social media and stuff, they're all in the description and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up as well if you are enjoying this video. I'm not going to put a like goal on this. I'm just going to try something new and see how this does for you guys uh, to enjoy. So without further ado, let's crack on with this video and let's react to the first video, which is Haaland's first interview for Manchester City. Erling, welcome to Manchester City. This feels like a very significant moment in, in your career, given your age and... I don't want to keep pausing or anything, but it is a very significant signing done by Manchester City. This, to me, is the marquee signing, the, the, the statement signing that Manchester City just haven't really associated themselves with, but this is out there for everybody to see. This is a statement signing by Manchester City, and I think City have just done so, so well to make this signing happen. ...stage, and I'm sure you had plenty of options from other very, very good clubs, so why Manchester City? Uh, first of all, my father, a little bit. Um, uh, I was the Alfie Link. England. I've been a City fan my whole life. I know uh, a lot about the club uh, and um, I think in the end two things, I I feel a bit home here and... Ah, uh, oh, he feels, that's nice, that's really nice, he feels like he's got a connection with Manchester, that's nice. That might be key actually to not only getting Erling Haaland here but keeping him as well, which I think City are going to have a battle on their hands a couple of years down the road with. Also, I, I think I can develop uh, and uh, get the best out of my game in, in City. So you've probably watched plenty of our games this season and previous seasons. What do you think of our style of play and, and do you think we're a good fit for you? <laughs> yeah, of course. If not, I wouldn't come here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, it's... Uh... Erling Haaland's renowned for his sarcastic answers there and to be honest I can't wait to see more of that. I, uh, I like the style, I like the attacking football, uh, I like the the kind of positive vibe uh, we have. Uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry if we keep pausing it and everything, but just looking at his hairstyle there, a lot of fans of, uh, particularly uh, children, have taken it upon themselves with City signing Jack Grealish getting the Grealish haircut. I wonder if uh, people will be copying and going for the for the Holland haircut as well, the bobble shavings uh, back and sides there, uh, and all just scooped back and tied up. Uh, when City play football, this is uh, what I, I like a lot. Um, uh, so. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's a it's a really good fit. When you've been watching our games this season, have you been imagining yourself in the team and in certain positions? Yes, I I have that, and uh, yeah, uh, he wants the goal. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. We think Pep is the world's best coach. Your goal record suggests that you're the world's best young striker. 
Does that feel like a perfect match, you and the manager? Yeah, I, I, as I said, I think I can develop a lot under uh, a lot under Pep and uh, in this club. So, uh, so uh, he's got a big pulling power, hasn't he, Pep? Uh, I think I can get better on uh, on uh, a lot of things, and uh, hopefully, I can score a lot of goals. Have you managed to speak to Pep yet? And, and what's he said to you? What what does he what's he looking for from you? This yeah, I've, uh, I've spoken a little bit with him, and. Uh, we both look forward to, uh, to work together. Soundtracking your content can be tricky. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Discover more than 35 Sorry, City. Tracks. I'll skip. You've got this remarkable goal scoring record. You've scored 135 goals in 183 professional matches. Wow. Uh, youngest player ever to hit 50 Bundesliga goals. What do you put that down to? Is it mentality, positional strength, physicality? What is it? Yeah, I think it's a good mix between uh, a lot of things. Um, uh, I think, um, first of all, it's uh, my joy to play football, uh, to to try to enjoy every single moment. And when when I enjoy, I win football games and I and I score goals. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I always want to have fun and uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's a good mix between a lot of uh, a lot of. The it's good that he enjoys himself there, it's important, he just says it's, a bit, it's because he has fun, he's enjoying himself and uh, because of that he can prosper, I like that answer. Uh, a lot of things. You seem to like the big stage as well, because your Champions League record is also phenomenal, you reached 20 goals in that competition in just 14 games, which is a record. Why is that? What is it about that competition and, and those big nights? That oh, I love that camera shot, promo, uh, graphic picture there. Then get the focus on to Holland. I like it. Alive. Yeah, I, I always like I always like Champions League. So um, so that's that's a bit why uh, uh, it's uh, a bit more special uh, in my eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I I like it. Is it true that the Champions League anthem was your ringtone for a while? No, it, uh, it still is. So you've, you've, you've been to the Etihad, of course, before you played with Dortmund in 2021 and there was a video of you and Jude Bellingham walking out onto the pitch and you just turned to Jude and said it's beautiful. I mean, what was your experience of, of playing uh, at the Etihad like? Yeah, first of all, I've been there. Maybe he's buttering up Jude to come here in the next 12 months as well. Speculation! Sometimes before uh, watching, watching games uh, and... Uh, yeah, I like it. It's beautiful. I like the color, uh, and also I played their um, big, huge stadium, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to to, to play to, to play there. We saw after that game as well. You were talking to Phil Foden again. Phil is a player that we, you know, we rate very highly. We think he could possibly be go on to be the club's greatest ever player. I mean, have you watched much of him, and and what's your assessment of him as a as a footballer? Yeah. Uh, as I said, I've been watch, watching a lot of uh, City games for the last, as long as I can remember. So, uh, of course, then I also watched uh, Phil and uh, he's amazing. Phil's amazing class. Uh, still talent because he's still young, yeah, but uh, he's an amazing player and uh, he still has to develop and then he can, um, then we can really talk. What about uh, Riyad Mahrez? Because I believe you bumped into him last summer. Did he say some good things about City? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he told me to, to come to City. He uh, <laughs> so was right about that. Uh, Asian Riyad. He, talked, he said some good things about, uh, about the club. And your dad, of course, captain City at the, the turn of the millennium. You mentioned briefly before, but what kind of role has he played in, in selling the club to you and, and helping you make this decision? Yeah, of course. Uh, he lived in England. Uh, he played for the club. Uh, of course, a lot of things has changed in the last twenty years. But um, yeah, he lived here, so he know he knows what it is. And uh, Alf has been a huge, huge help for Man City. I feel in making this transfer happen. Uh, we know it's knowledge that Alf wanted uh, Erling to go to Manchester City and uh, continue his development. That's exactly what has happened with Alf having the ties with the club. Uh, has been a big, big help here in City making this massive signing. Um, I presume that's uh, some of the points that's going to be made here with his link with his father and the uh, interview that they've both done that uh, I can't put out because of all the copyright stuff. But uh, yeah, I've had watched that video. Class. Class, go and check it out if you haven't already. It's on City's YouTube channel. We've just been speaking about uh, basically how it is, uh, what's the best for me, 
what's this, what's that, and uh, to try to find out everything. And um, he's been a good, uh, he's been a good dad in that uh, in that thing there. Did, did he ever take you to main road? You were probably too young to remember it, but do you know if he ever? If he ever yeah, I've been to I've been to a lot of games. I don't remember, uh, but uh, I was on uh, a lot of games with my with my mom, sister, and brother watching for my father. Yeah. You obviously have outstanding ability, but you're also a very hard worker. Uh, Gunnar Haller, the former Leeds United and, and Norway youth coach, um, he said that you know you are somebody who will practice, practice, practice. Do you do you ever get annoyed when you see other players maybe who are talented? Talented, but but don't put the work in that you do to, to try and reach the top. I don't get annoyed, but I I remember when I was young, uh, there was a lot of uh, good players around me that had huge potential, but there were so many talents that goes goes to waste because uh, they don't have it or they don't want or they think this is the right thing or whatever. Uh, so yes, of course, uh, I think it's really important to. To train a lot, but also to train right and to do the right things and to practice on the right things. I think that's a really, really good attitude. Really important thing yeah, to become to become good. And football isn't the only thing that you excel at. I think I believe in 2006 you set the record for the longest standing long jump by a five-year-old. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's true. Uh, uh, I I don't remember it, but I remember I went on. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, uh, track and field or whatever and jumping and some of these kind of things and uh, uh, because my mother did it uh, in younger age and uh, so she always brought me uh, <gasps> so then I was running and I think that's, that's also where I have a bit of my speed from and, from and my jumping and everything and yeah it's true I, I have the <laughs> I have the record and you had a very brief rap career as well is that true that's true yeah tell us about flow kings yeah it's a group of uh, it's a group of three uh, one guy uh, is uh, out of contract now. He was in Krasnodar, but he terminated. Eric Botheim and Eric Tobias as well. He plays in plays in Norway. Uh, we are three good friends. That uh, that was a bit bored, so we decided to make a, a rap song. So, what what are your plans now for the rest of the summer? You're obviously going to try and get some rest, come back and play. In yeah, America. rest ahead, body, everything, and then get ready for a new season. You must be incredibly excited. Anyway, thank you very much, Julian. I want to say on behalf of all Manchester City fans, good luck during your time here. Thank you. That is a class interview done by Hallen there. So, I've left my thumbs up there, part of the 74,000 people that have liked it. We'll get a little comment in there. Love it. There we go. Bam. On there. Great interview that by Helen though. Great interview. Uh, so we're going to go to next, just recommended here, uh, which is the Inside City. <laughs> it started in Barcelona, then I didn't know that. It's got the badge in there with the Stone Island. Private jet. So proud he got a new jeans. This backstage stuff so I'm fascinating. The game on Sunday. <laughs> Where Those five minutes. No, we're sitting at home. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Those it's five minutes. Oh my word. What was the next thing? The atmosphere. Ah, oh, it was honestly. It was good. Huh? Really good. Um, really good. It looks like good guys. Hungry. Hungry guys. Very hungry. That's the most important. To Cougar, that's what we like. That is what we like. Hopefully, it won't be first of many trips there. Hopefully, won't have many uh, injury problems. I hope. Because that Laporte and Diaz there to help. 
Saw this. So this is this is Kyle. I was just down the touch line. And then watch this. <laughs> the complete opposite way to where the goal was. He just lost it. <laughs> yeah. And he was not 100% aiming at his head. <laughs> That's a great comment from Ruben Diaz. That's brilliant. He's not 100% fit, but he can do that. Please. Shit, shit. Oh, that's I'm not a medical expert to comment on what they're what they're looking for and testing for here. I'm not sure. So we pack it to the airport in Barcelona. He's gonna take a flight to Manchester. This was on the 24th of May. Fresh from City's success in the Premier League. Just in the middle of your flight. <laughs> what is it? What is kids and his wife? Everyone was there. <laughs> okay, uh, two hours, ten minutes flight time. Okay, so yeah. Uh, weather is good on the way, so. I don't think it's exactly. Um, Manchester. Is it raining? Uh, it's not. It's not great. It's not great, but. Uh, <laughs> This is raining. The positive. So the first part of the medicals done they in Barcelona and they're doing the second in Manchester. That's interesting. I don't, I don't know why that is. Alright. We're just doing bloods in here and um, uh, Dexter scan. Which, did you, have you had them before? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's funny, a centimetre is grown. Ah, oh, it's great to have a striker, isn't it, up top. Put all them crosses in. We've finally got somebody that can put the head onto it. Nearly 196 centimetres. I like it. And then just shuffle back up slightly so you can feel my hand on the top of your head. Perfect. You've got 10 seconds. Three, six, seven. Awesome. Nice one. Thank you. No problem. Awesome. Oh, advert. The new best way to make money online that nobody's Sorry, talking City, about is something it. you've never heard of before. It's entering the training ground. How First do you time. feel? Yes. First time. Really good. Good. Have a look at the uh, academy, the CFA. Because you're going to spend a lot of time here. <laughs> so it better be good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. Have 
Mike. I've just, I've just been talking to Dan, thinking it was you. Oh, really? <laughs> he, thinks <laughs> I I he thinks I was doing this thing, I think. Dan's up there, and I was talking to him, thinking yeah, it was yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just said to me, it's, uh, some of me thinks he's his age, he's getting old. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, yeah. 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 You know. I remember Paul Dickoff put a tweet out. People were saying he looked like uh, Warwick Davis, who played Professor Flitwick in Harry Potter, if you've seen the Harry Potter series, uh, with the height difference. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. the all important catering staff. That's actually really nice, actually, uh, that he's taking the time to go and meet uh, not just, uh, obviously, the high chiefs and the, the players and the people he's going to be associated with, he's gone out there out of his way to go and meet all those that are uh, in the uh, background making, the, uh, making, the, making it tick for the club. So that's really nice. Because you should be my favourite people. See, his favourite people, they do the food. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, I would like some breakfast. Omelette, please. Omelette, cheese and ham. Cheese and ham omelette, please. Omelette, cheese and ham omelette, why not? Cheese and ham omelette, please. Omelette, cheese and ham omelette, Jack, please. Into the gym. Balance looks good. shirt as well while we're speaking about the new shirt if you want to go and check that out link is in the description brought to you by kit bag yeah it's like retro like 90s yeah oh that's really nice that Fernandinho gets to see how before he well come on leaves yeah come with you yeah nice to see you too Oh, his son's there as well, Fernandinho. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Oh, Fernandinho's son's a big fan of having a picture taken. That's really nice. Look how shy his son's got as well. We're good. Thank you, friend. It's going to be good, yeah. Very good. Good fit. Thank you. Totally agree with you. <laughs> You're just staying here for tips, sir. Huh? I do need that tip. <laughs> Hang on, that's a lot. I definitely think the uh, media, the media team are going to like Halland with his uh, comments and everything. They have a lot of fun with this, I've got a feeling with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm 
Great hair, mate. It's good hair. It's good look. Yes. <laughs> you cut this. Oh, I needed. Cut the leather sides out. Huh? That's funny. Yeah, I went high. I couldn't do with the sides. Yeah, let's see the Highland haircuts catching on. Couldn't do with it. <laughs> on this week's episode of Man City Hair, this is great. It's the content fans one. Yes, we want to see that. This week's show, the Man City Hair, make it happen, Manchester City. Not much share uh, maintenance needs to go into mine, like, so don't think I'll be getting a feature on that, but there we go. Where's that the back? Good. Yeah. Although I did just get the haircut, had the uh, zero put on the back and sides, skin fade in there, uh, in morning hair. Not bad. Not bad. Sharp. Sharp. One player leaves, which is sad, a new one arrives. That's really nice, that's really nice. Brazilians are always nice. Good. He's like. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the media stuff done now. The announcements of everything. Hey guys. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Nice. Have you seen that in the brand new um, So the first thing is, have you seen this photo before? So we got a photo of... Um... Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what would be great is we've got a few little setups we'd love you to do where we can just get you to replicate that photo so we can introduce you to the City Fans if that's okay. Of course. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, so this one's going to be the team. So the first time to... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit small, that. Um, what would be... Are you happy with so in three, two, one. Nailed it. Perfect. That's that big grand. Yeah. Uh, you want to do one more? Just round We just do one more, please, Ellie. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was. Um, yeah, you were here. Uh, sorry, I was. It was making you lot of hair. So you getting mic'd up there? I think. Stuff that wire just under. Yeah. And then we just get. Did for his interview that we just done? And reacted to. Welcome to Manchester City. This Thank you. Well, I can't. <laughs> Dude's a copyright put on. Oh, it's really nice that he gave him the shirt. I've seen uh, the post with that with, with Sun on because he had the dad shirt. Thank you very much. Sun Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, I wish we did have human son. Thank you. That's nice. Nice dad and son. You gave me a dad uh, jersey and yeah. then uh, you give it back. Thank you very much. You give back a son. It's beautiful, actually. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh. <laughs> the pictures of him there with the flag are awesome. Oh, On the throne. I'd love to have a JSGC style one like that. That would be lit. Let me just come in. Yeah, get some scud up and go on top. Keep bring your hands up and just slide. I'm just going to have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
that was awesome. That was that was really really awesome. Um, let's get a thumbs up on there again. That's 75,000 likes and we'll comment. Awesome. Love it. Right, they are my reactions to Haaland becoming a Manchester City player uh, and of course uh, with him uh, doing all the announcements and everything with the things put onto YouTube. Um, that Inside City was crazy good. That was amazing. The interview that he done, uh, the, the, I like how sarcastic he is. Honestly, I really do. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what Haaland can show Manchester City and what uh, what he can do. So this is a, like I said, this is a marquee signing by Manchester City. It's just absolutely awesome. So there we go. That has been my reaction to Erlen Holland signing for Manchester City. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this style of video, then just let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up as well so i know that you're enjoying it and uh, we'll see the summer's long we're expecting more signings by city they'll be doing more stuff like this so if this is your cup of tea and this is the kind of content that you do like then i'll see what i can do to produce for you guys so like i said just leave in the comments that you enjoyed it and leave a thumbs up and that would be much appreciated subscribe if you're new around here we do have daily manchester city transfer updates rolling out for you guys to enjoy so you can stay up to date first and fast with all the latest manchester city transfer news this summer on YouTube through my channel, so make sure you have subscribed. And like I said, we've hit 25k subscribers, so I'd say a big thank you to everybody for that. That is much appreciated. All absolute legends. And here's to the next 25,000 subscribers as well. And also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. And like I said, with the shirt, the new City shirt that Holland was wearing in the video. Uh, I'm working with Kit Bag. You want to go and check that out and get yourself some exclusive deals for Manchester City merchandise and get your hands on the latest Manchester City home jersey for this season. Just go and press my link in the description. I'll take you to Kit Bag's website for Manchester City and you can go and purchase things through there. And I'll see you all again real soon. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.